Okay, I'm ranking movies here. We'll start things off. The Ch Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, here's the thing. I respect the Texas Chainsaw's Massacre as this part in his, um, horror movie history. But quite honestly, I just I found it more annoying than it did scary, especially the hitchhiker character. Oh, my God. I mean, you know, <laughs> I think the worst part of that experience isn't the idea that you're going to be killed and eaten. It's just listening to that motherfucker. So I'm going to put that at a five. Okay, moving on. Alien, not Aliens. Okay, this is a decent film. But once again, Aliens is better, so I'm going to put that at three. All right, what we got next? What do we got next? Mirror. Ah, never seen it. I'll put it at eight, hopefully. <laughs> the greatest, great, great movie. All right, moving on, moving on. Les Miserables. I haven't seen it. I'm going to put it at six. All right, moving on, moving on. Lost in Translation, Scarlett Johansson falling in love with uh, Bill Murray. I thought that was a decent enough film. All right. Boyhood. Okay, so this is where they filmed him when he was a little kid. Then a few, a few years later, they came back to film more scenes with him when he's older. And, you know, who cares? <laughs> I don't understand why they thought how that gimmick, you know, changes anything. It's sort of like, you know, you just... Seems like it would just come off like a regular movie where you could have done this with different actors, you know, at different ages. All right, I'm going to put that at seven. What we got left? What we got left? Hotel Rwanda. Oh, I haven't seen it. <laughs> it sounds like an important film. All right. Probably doesn't belong there, but you got to put it somewhere. All right. Worst or best? Uh, I'm going to go with Worst. I haven't seen... Gosh, this is something I hate about this one. All these movies I haven't seen. Like, how am I supposed to rank them? All right, last one, last one. Roma! Yeah. I need to watch more movies. <laughs>